Welcome, my name is Yao A. Wusu Jr., your resident Vitality Advisor. Welcome to the Vitality Advisor, where we give you advice, little nuggets that you can optimize your vitality with. Global awareness is our mission for everyone. Know who you are and reach your peak is always what we value. Um, we want to take a little bit of a dive onto one of the topics we went over in the Vitality Handbook, one of our other channels, which is about mindset. So we go through the five pillar system, mindset, sleep, nutrition, physical recovery, and exercise. But mindset is one of my favorite because to be vital, to be <clears throat> healthy, to have longevity, to have fitness, all of these terms can be ambiguous, but we want to have some type of measurable. What is a universal measurement there? And one of the universal measurements is your mindset. There's no pillar system, there's no coaching parable that you can come up with that doesn't say you have a strong mind. Uh, that's not a part of it. You always have to have a strong mind. So that's a topic that I want to focus on today. Uh, the mind is different from the brain. Okay, our activity uh, of our brain activity in neuroscience is different from consciousness. Okay, so you can have a lot of brain activity and be run on subconscious programming from childhood trauma. You're not currently running on programming for conscious thought now because you're in trauma, you're in stress, you're in depression, uh, you are in the bottom pits of life. Even though every day is a new day to program your mindset, right? We go into that channel, we had a good talk on what would you rather have, $10 million uh, or another day. So it means that another day is worth more to you than $10 million. Obviously you want to see another day. So because you're giving a day after day after day, how are you going to treat it? Like it's worth to you than more than $10 million. Now, if we're going to do that, you have to have a sharp mind that's adaptable. So that adaptable word, this is what we're really after. Okay. Mastering your mindset is, is a very uh, hard topic to talk about, but it's a very simple equation to solve for. The first thing that you have to do is first understand that is programming. Oh, we live in the matrix. Okay, everyone has its own matrix, a matrix of education at, from Harvard or from Princeton or from this club or from that club or from this part of society or from this part of society. Uh, we all have our tribes. Now, finding your tribe that works with you, the uh, five people, right, that are around you, you're going to be the sum of those, right? What is your tribe? Having a healthy mindset is getting like-minded people uh, when you're 50, 60, 70, who do you want around you at that age? These are the things you have to be thinking about and you need to program yourself for that in the future. Now, to do that is difficult. It's not easy, but it is simple, right? Align yourself with influencers or align yourself with community or align yourself with your own self-knowledge of things that are going to uh, help you reach that peak of mastery of your mindset. And we'll take it three simple um, substrates for success here. The first one is always going to be uh, finding yourself. And you hear this a lot. Who are you? How do I find myself? Let me take this trip. And, and having those experiences are good. Those do elicit those life-changing or transformational uh, experiences that could make you snap out of uh, the humdrum of every single day, right? If you're in the monotony of boring, even though that could get you to your goal, but having these experiences will help sharpen your mind because it makes you adaptable. If you go on a trip around the world or uh, you have a baby, right? <laughs> or you, you quit your job and you, you have your passion and you go with what your purpose is put in this life, everyone has their own intelligences. You find that and you, and you go with that. That is very difficult to do, but there is a solution for that. You've heard it before. Find out who you are, believe in yourself, and stay disciplined to the programming. It's all a program. People say, okay, always have a higher calling, right? Or you'll be called for anything, right? So some people say religion, some people say system, some people say they're their own religion, whatever your calling is. You're going to be programmed. Are you going to be programmed by television? Are you going to be programmed by podcasts? Are you going to be programmed by your friends that always want to be in a depressed state, but you want more? Who are you going to decide to be programmed by? I say, and we say, uh, as your vitality advisor, 
you be the leading programmer for your life. Don't let someone else, don't let someone else program your life. I love my dad. I love my mom. I love my sister. I love my brother. I love They're not programming my life. I'm programming my life. You have to take ownership of your life. So whatever is happening in your life, right? They say you, uh, you uh, come into this world looking like your dad, but you leave this world looking like your decisions. So it's the decisions that you make through life. That's your character. Everyone can change that. If you don't like who you are, you can change that, <laughs> right? If you do like who you are, you can excel at that. If you want to be somebody else consciously, we're not going to get into the controversy about changing your actual person, okay? We're not going to get into that. But we're talking about your mind, in your mind, if you want to change who you are, your personality, uh, your, your intelligence quotient. 16 to 60 is going to be the same. Personality can change. People do not stay with the same personality. I know that because my personality has changed for the better, right? I was, you know, the depressed, but then you have to be able to uh, elevate and expand. So just with that nugget there, guys, um, I want to always leave you guys with this. Okay, and you've heard me say this a lot um, on the Vitality Handbook. Go check that out. Every single day you are given the responsibility. And we, we learn what responsibility means. It's your ability to respond to trauma or whatever. You're given the responsibility to heal your body, starting from your mind or destroy it. Pick one. Problem, privilege. Focus on the hardware, focus on the software. Our mindset is highly programmable. As always, guys, like, share, subscribe to the channel and to the network of Vitality. My name is Yao A. Wusu Jr. Your resident vitality riser. Let's get into it. Bye.